Hey everybody, Quint Lears at the 2020 Nationals. I'm here with Linda Hebert, a.k.a. A-Bear. Linda, how's it been for you this evening? Oh my God, I'm just, I'm blown away. I mean, not only being the Nationals chair and, and having the opportunity to work with this group of people has been awesome. And then to have this happen, what? Yeah. <laughs> Shocking. So she's the recipient of the William Bill Molster Award. Hold the award, please. I'm going to give it back to her. Bill, let's talk about Bill Molster. So he was intricate in, in starting one of the founding members of the Sales and Marketing Council. Anything else you want to add uh, about that? Uh, he's just been a legend, and this has been an award that has been passed down for many years to somebody that's dedicated themselves to the industry, and I'm so shocked to be honored in this capacity. It's it great. Really cool. I, I, I knew you were genuinely surprised because you were like, what? Like when I, I and Great speech. <laughs> um, you know, there's big events and big things that happen, and then people think that just ma it's done by magic, and it's not. There's there's dozens of people behind the scenes that have worked hard. Why did you find it in your heart to give back in this way? You know, chairing the nationals, getting involved. Why do that? I, I mean, if you're going to be a member, I just think you have to be involved. I, I just think that's the way it should be. And this is the industry that pays my bills. Yeah. And these are the people that support me in every capacity that I can even imagine. And I don't see any reason not to give back. I, it doesn't make sense to me not to be involved in an industry that's supporting you in every way. So does it drive you crazy? Like, do you know who the winners are before they're, cause you're sharing it? Does it like, oh my God, I want to tell so-and-so. Does it drive you nuts? I wouldn't be able to sleep. Um, a little bit, but it's, it's interesting because everything is, when you're judging, it's blind judged. So you really don't know who those people are until you actually, you see them up on screen and you go, okay, yeah, I remember that campaign. I remember that interior, but you don't know who they are to start with. So you don't know when they're announcing names or you meet somebody in the hall saying, you know, well, how did I do? Like, I don't know. <laughs> you know. I was amazed. I was talking to Chris Hartley. He's one of the judges. Mm -hmm. And I said, man, tell me about it. He goes, Quint, man, that we go deep. There's, you know, they, they spend hours and hours and hours and it's there. And if they're, it's not like, Oh, Hey, I'm going to let my buddy win. There's no politics. No. It's straight up. They're looking for the best of the best. Tell me something you learned you know, going through this process, seeing the national award winners, a takeaway that that's something that's changed you. Wow. Um, I, there's so much talent across the country. Um, the Canadians brought such great urban appeal that I think we could utilize here locally. Uh, in, in the states themselves and um, some of the like the, the personal like the rookie winners were all unbelievably awesome online sales consultants are off the charts and it was really hard to even narrow them down I was I, I think one of the, the takeaways is that to make silver is a huge honor having to whittle down a, a category of 65 to five it's heartbreaking to have to leave some people out. It's amazing. Wow. Um, diversified sales and marketing. Tell me about the company, what you do. I do sales and marketing consultant for, mostly my builders are in California. Um, I'm across the country for some friends, but um, that's what I do. I've done everything from master plans down to custom homes. Now you charge a lot of money for even just little tips and advice, but I want you to give us some, some advice for free tonight. Tell me, what's the biggest mistake that you see builders making or something that makes you cringe or something you would say, you need to do this? I was talking about this earlier. Um, I, a lot of my builders are small builders and they don't want to put people out for filling out a reg card or registering online, the people that come in and, and do it. It's like, but then where are you going to get your people down the road? So they're, they're used to old school. They're really still into if you build it, they will come. Mm. And you've got to change that mentality. That's, that's huge. Um, anything else? Any shout outs? Because like, you know, when you, I know there's people behind the scenes. Anybody that you want to give a shout out to that's, that's. Well, my, my biggest shout out would today be to Lisa and Shane because they do the show. Um, we are there to support them is how I feel because they do such a phenomenal job. And I want to shout out to Joe, who's always there, always behind the scenes and making things happen for the rest of us and making us look good. Yeah, It's an awesome that we even have something like this in our industry. It literally is like the Oscars. If you go in there, there's 1,300 people. Everybody's dressed We're to the nines. Like Everybody this. looks wonderful. <laughs> We're having fun. There's a energy. I, I say when you leave here, people are like, 
wow, I want to start improving. That's kind of what I feel. Absolutely. You see stuff up on the screen and you go, oh my gosh, where did that come from? Uh, I, I, that's, that's what you take away from this show. All right, last question. You're, you're you know, consulting, giving information, advice to people. Where do you get your information from? What, what do you get inspiration from? What's, what motivates you? Um, I, I, I read a lot. Um, Builder Magazine. I deal with the paint companies. I deal with um, interior designers. I love to just meet with them, just to see what they see on trends. Um, I like uh, dealing with salespeople. I really do shop good salespeople because they also have insights as to what the markets are. And that's where I get a lot of the marketing ideas. And then, you know, I mean, builders are pretty connected. So it's all about networking. For me, it's all about building that network of people that you can call on at any time, say, hey, I have a question about this or that. Well, I can tell you the Sales and Marketing Council is very proud of you. You've made a big impact. We're grateful for your contribution. Anything else? Thank you. I love it. I love this job. Love Here it. at the 2020 <laughs> Nationals. It's a big year this year. Thank you. Visit thenationals.com.